good morning um this is Tukulor again i just wanted to take a minute uh and uh, send a message to the political parties that are having coalition discussions right now uh as you can see uh, i look like i haven't slept much and uh you can believe that uh yesterday of course i was on the radio until about almost 10 o'clock and here i am again today talking to you uh, the reason why i'm doing this is not because i am trying to store up trouble or talking too much but um i am a gambian and gambia is worth it to me i just wanted to remind the dis people having the discussions uh, about certain things jaga jang uh Sani, jaja nyas went to gambia and when they got to gambia they got killed they didn't go because they're hoodlums they went because they wanted to free gambia and if they had freed Gambia, uh, Solo Sanding might have not died the way he died today. Solo Sanding, as we all know, went out looking for his basic human right of asking for electoral reform. And Solo Sanding got killed by the Ayajama government within 24 hours. His daughter, just imagine the love between uh, father and uh, child, especially father and daughter, stood up, went outside, and in her grief, moment of grief, said, you know, I, you, I want, you can stand behind me or not, but I demand the release of my father. And guess what happened? Yaya Jamis thugs, the NIA, went out looking for this poor innocent girl who was looking for her father. And as we speak, the entire family of 10 is outside of the Gambia. Instead of being in Gambia grieving for the uh, death of Solo, they are doing that outside of a country they love. We all know in Gambia. Grief is something that when you go through it, your family, you are surrounded by family and we provide the therapeutic environment. Guess what? They don't have that. Usenu Dabo, lawyer Usenu Numukunda Dabo. Muhammad Lamin Sani, Al Haji Kemesen Jamme, and many others went out and said, This is wrong. We are going to go ask and de demand for the release of Sonora Sunday. Yaya Jame took them and locked them up. Fatu Mata Jawara, Nogo Njai, Fatu Kamara, Juguna Suso. These are women, they are mothers who have children. They got beaten. Fatu Mata Jawara actually, they thought she died from, her, from the beatings that she endured. But what had happened is she had gone into a coma instead. They are ling you know, languishing in jail. These are, you know, I did a profile on all of these families and, and I took a lot of time talking to some of the family members. So these are decent human beings who are there, who are in jail that shouldn't be. Hum decent human beings who died because they love Gambia. Then, Ibrahim Masolo Koroma, on May 9th, went with another group demanding the release of the people who were illegally detained, demanding that lawyer Dabo and co should, should be released and they don't deserve to be in jail because they are not criminals. They imprisoned these folks and guess what happened to Zolokoroma? They hit him on the head so bad that he died in government custody. This is a man who left a family of 15. He left three wives and then his 90 something year old father. You know, every family, every, every parent wants to die before their children die. They want to be buried by their children. Guess what? Solo Kromas, 90-something-year-old dad, buried him instead. So as you sit down and have those discussions, what I want you to remember is this. These families are watching everything we say and do on radio, on social media, and in our videos. You know, I know I'm the, one of the most stubborn people you'll ever meet. But any time I go out to do something, this is what I think of. You know, Solo Sunday's children are watching me. And right now, they want me and my colleagues in the struggle to go out and salvage our country so that they can go back home and continue their grieving. Because the way this happened to them is not an easy thing. As you sit down and have those discussions, forget about your own positions. What you should think about is, what are we going to achieve by coming together and removing Yaya Jami? What you can achieve, I can tell you right now, is this. Unity is strength. Unity is strength. If you all unite 
and go after Yaya Jami, even if he wins. All of you will know for certain that he stole those elections. And all of you will fight together to continue fighting him. This is a vehicle. This is an opportunity for you to go back and fight Yaya Jami and get him out of there. This is an opportunity for you to fight for lawyer Dabo, who has given so much of his life to Gambia. This is a man who is an accomplished lawyer, but guess what? He's languishing in jail, an old man. So we have very, very fine senior citizens in Gambian prisons right now. We have mothers and grandmothers. Nogo Njai apparently is a grandmother, languishing in jail. Just think about what their families think of what we're doing. So instead of being self-destructive, Let's think of one thing. The people who have risked their lives, Bankamani, Alaji Baro, Chernanjai, they are in jail today. They are not in jail because they decided just to go steal, you know, break into, you know, stores and get caught. No, they are in jail because they fought for Gambia. And as you can see, Banka, until he reported to prison, showed us that he did not regret fighting for Gambia. To me, these are Gambian patriots. These are gallant, beautiful sons and daughters of Gambia who knew when they went out those days that they went out and did what they did. They knew the ramifications, but because of their love of Gambia, they went out. So what I'm urging you to do is to try to be as good as those people and talk. You know, Yaya Jami is a dictator and a tyrant. We all know that. But we also know that he hijacked our country. For 22 years, Yaya Jami put our country, you know, under siege. So right now, what I'm saying to you, this is going to sound harsh. But what I'm telling you is you, you, the opposition parties, also have put our country under siege. Yaya Jami is a dictator and tyrant. But you guys, what you're what you're doing to us right now is you are also holding us hostage by refusing to conclude these talks. You know, December 1st is not far away. The more time you buy, the more time you're giving Yahya Jame. And I'm pleading to you, please, get together, talk, choose someone. Afterwards, you all can go and have clean and fair elections and let the biggest party win. Thank you.